If I had to say there was any one thing in this world that I find more annoying than getting to a restaurant when I'm rage hungry at the end of the day and then being told that I have to wait, um, it would have to be exporting video that takes an excessively long time in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For those of you out there who can relate to these issues, and I'm talking more about the Premiere Pro, I, it's gonna be difficult for me to help you with the rage hunger, I'm sorry. But this video is for you, provided you're on an Intel CPU that is the sixth generation or newer. Check this out. In order to use your CPU's integrated graphics, you're first going to need to make sure that it is properly activated. To do that, restart your computer, get into the system BIOS, and navigate over to where your integrated graphics settings are going to be. For me, on this particular Gigabyte motherboard, those settings can be found under the chipset category. Right here it says integrated graphics, it is currently disabled, I'm simply going to switch that to enabled, save the changes, and reboot to the Windows desktop. Once you reboot your system and you reach the Windows 10 desktop, if you go into Task Manager, you still won't be able to see your integrated GPU even though it's enabled in the BIOS. And that's because in order for the system to recognize it and in order for Adobe Premiere Pro to use it, you need to install Intel's graphics driver for your CPU and GPU. This is super easy to do. You just go over to Intel's website, type in which CPU model you have and select the appropriate graphics driver for your system. Once the graphics driver installation process has successfully completed, you can then go into the Windows 10 Task Manager and you will now be able to see the integrated Intel GPU alongside the dedicated GPU inside your system. And it is at this point that Adobe Premiere will be able to take advantage of that extra hardware. In the export settings of Premiere, you will now have the option to select hardware accelerated and this is what will use both of your GPUs along with your CPU to save you time. So how much time is all of this going to save us? Well, it's about this much. Exporting our short little 4K project that was just under a minute in length in H.264 codec, it took us about 85 seconds without the iGPU, and with the iGPU enabled, that time dropped to about 71 seconds for a total reduction in time of just over 15%. And that's really all there is to it. That's how you gain some additional performance in Adobe Premiere Pro CC with your existing sixth generation or newer Intel CPUs. I hope you liked this quick tech tip. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.